Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Mathusiasm. Today we're going to look at an important theorem in geometry. It's called the Angle Bisector Theorem. Here we will be presenting three different ways to prove it. So what's the theorem about? In triangle ABC, D is a point on BC so that AD is the angle bisector of the angle at A. Then the ratio of the red size AB over DB is equal to the ratio of the green size AC over DC. As we come across ratio of size, the first idea is to use similar triangles. Let's look at the three reasons to prove that. They are AAA, free size proportional, and ratio of two size included angle. Because we want to get equal ratio of size as the results, therefore it shall not be the reason to prove similar triangles. That means we we'll have to use AAA. Let's construct some lines to do so. Extend AD to E so that AB is parallel to CE. Which two triangles might probably be similar? Right, it's the red triangle ABD and the green triangle ECD. The pair of parallel lines give us a lot of information about the angles. Let's check it out. Label the angles as shown in the figure. First of all, we have A1 is equal to E because they are the alternate angles of the parallel lines. Likewise, we have B is equal to C with the same reason. For the third pair, D1 and D2 are vertically opposite angles. Therefore, triangle ABD is similar to triangle ECD. The reason is AAA as expected. Now, we have two pairs of corresponding sides. AB and EC as a pair, DB and DC is another pair. The ratios are equal. We're going to compare this result with the angle bisector theorem. Let's check if all the sides are there. Alright, we'll have AB, DC, and DB. What about the remaining sides EC and AC? Do they have any relationship? Let's go back to the figure to look at the green triangle ACE. We'll have A1 is equal to A2 because AD is the angle bisector. Just now, we also got A1 is equal to E because they are the alternate angles of parallel lines. Combining the two results together, we'll have A2 is equal to E. Therefore, EC is equal to AC. And the reason is size opposite equal angles. Putting this result into the ratio, we have AB over AC is equal to DB over DC. Well, the two red sides AB and DB are in the numerator, and the two green sides AC and DC are in the denominator. Rearrange the terms AC and DB, we complete the proof of the angle bisector theorem. This method is quite elementary, isn't it? So, what about the other two ways to prove this theorem? Apart from similar triangles, we can also make use of congruent triangles. To prove that, we need both equal sides and angles. Well, do we have that? In triangle ABD and triangle ACD, A1 and A2 are equal because of angle bisector. Also, AD is the common side. However, the two triangles do not look the same. So we need to draw some lines as well. Let's construct the two heights from the point D. We shall call them DP and DQ. Now, we focus on the two smaller triangles ADP and triangle ADQ. Then, we have the two angles X and Y, both are 90 degrees. So we can conclude that triangle ADP and triangle ADQ, they are congruent. The reason is AAS. As a result, the two heights DP and DQ are equal as they are the corresponding size of congruent triangles. Well, what else do we know? We can treat them as the heights of the two larger triangles, the red triangle ABD and the green triangle ACD. In this case, the bases are AB and AC. So we can figure out the areas of the two triangles. The area of triangle ABD is equal to 1 over 2 times the base AB times the height DP. Likewise, we have the area of green triangle ACD, which is 1 over 2 times the base AC times the height DQ. If we consider the ratio of the two areas, 
can do some simplification. Let's take a look at this fraction. Well, 1 over 2 and the equal heights dp and dq are cancelled. In other words, the ratio of areas is equal to the ratio of the two sides AB and AC. How is it related to the angle bisector theorem? We have the two numerators AB and AC. Let's focus on the two denominators DB and DC. Refer to the figure DB and DC are horizontal. Moreover, they're also the basis of the two triangles. So we're looking at the diagram in another perspective. Now, draw the height of the red triangle ABD, which is AR. Can you see that AR is also the height of the green triangle ACD? Although the two triangles are totally different, one is acute angled triangle and the other is obtuse angled triangle, they share the same height. So we can find the ratio of the areas of the two triangles again. Putting the bases DB and DC, and the height AR inside, we get this fraction. Again, cancel out 1 over 2 and AR, we have the ratio of areas is equal to the ratio of another pair of bases. Putting two results together, we have AB over AC is equal to DB over DC. Rearrange the two lengths AC and DB, we prove the angle by sector theorem again. This time is by the area method. The third method to prove the theorem is to make use of trigonometry. It's also the fastest method. In this case, we don't have to construct any extra lines. Label the two angles as theta and alpha. What can we say further? Let's apply the sine formula in the two triangles. We shall focus on the sides and their opposite angles. In the red triangle ABD, AB over sine theta is equal to DB over sine A1. Putting the sides AB and DB to the left and the sine terms to the right, we get this equation. Let's do the same for the green triangle ACD. AC over sine alpha is equal to DC over sine A2. Because theta and alpha lie on the same straight line, therefore, sum of them is equal to 180 degrees. The reason is adjacent angles on the straight line. Therefore, on the left-hand side of the equation, alpha is equal to 180 degrees minus theta. Now, this sine term can be simplified to sine theta. Rearrange the terms, we get AC over DC is equal to sine theta over sine A2. Then, what's next? Let's make use of A1 equals to A2 again from the angle bisector AD. Therefore, the two fractions are equal. Put them together, the third proof of the theorem is also completed. The ratio of AB and DB is equal to the ratio of AC and DC. We have approached the theorem using three different tools. Actually, there's a fourth method to prove that. Let me give you some hints. Refer to this figure, AD is extended to E so that CD is equal to CE. Then you can prove the theorem using similar triangles as well. We have discussed a lot about the angle bisector theorem, but what's so important about that? You may want to check out the next video for an interesting problem. It's solved by this amazing theorem. See you in the next video.